This is part two. I will put a link to part one up here for you. And the part one was basically what if you had a joist cut that was next to a wall. This one is going to give you a few ideas for what if you need to go past the next joist. So what if you're one joist away from the wall or about one joist away, how can you fix it? So let's go ahead and take a look here. I went ahead and changed the color on the non-load-bearing walls. This is a load-bearing wall. Joists are sitting on this. And then this is a load-bearing wall here. Go ahead and go up here at an angle, give you an idea. Now the reason why I'm putting this in is because someone commented and said you cannot put any weight from a floor on a non-load-bearing wall. And um, according to most engineers, you probably can't. But again, you'd need to check with your engineer on that. These are just suggestions. Now, uh, I wouldn't make a suggestion if I didn't think it would work, if there wouldn't be a problem with it. Um, could a concrete slab, as we have here, support one floor joist? Uh, I think it would without any problems. So uh, hopefully that clears up that argument. And then someone else commented and said you could head out the joist. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you you could do in this video also. So you can basically apply that to just this particular joist here. So what we're looking at here is a non-load bearing wall, non-load bearing wall. So we can put a full length double joist in here or we can just run a joist to the wall. And that's actually what I'm going to do because again, I don't think this is gonna be a problem. Even if this joist was over the header, I don't think this would be a problem. Again, I am using this example here. If you have a 20 foot long joist, this is going to be a little different. If you have a joist that's supporting concentrated loads or even a, a large jacuzzi tub, then you might want to rethink some of these ideas. So here we have the double joist and I went ahead and made one a doubler and one a singular and I would imagine you could probably just use a single head out for something like this. Could you actually support this head out with a single um, floor joist? I wouldn't do it. I would double this one up and then if it's less than four feet yeah you could probably just have a single head out here um, but most engineers are going to want to see a double head out there. So that's why I kind of drew two of them in. Uh, hangers. And again, they're sitting on the walls. You would need to strap this uh, connection here, of course, for the top plates. And that would need a four foot long strap, according to most engineers. So uh, oh, again, you can see the doubler sitting on here. This would also need a post underneath it. Kind of get back over here. I don't have any support underneath this. This would actually need a support under it. This one here would be fine. I would put two studs underneath this one. Double hanger. A view from the bottom. Here we can see a doubler and a singler. I went ahead and put a double joist here, slipped it in. This is probably what an engineer is going to want to see. Doublers on each side uh, hanging off of a doubler. And I say that, but once these joists get long, you know, this, this is going to be a long joist here. And this one here is basically going to be sitting on top of the wall. Some of the weight's going to be transferring down. And in reality, when it's over a wall, it's non-load bearing. The weight on this joist is going to be transferring to this unless you don't, unless you have a, a top plate that's maybe three quarters of an inch to where the joist can't touch it. So it's kind of a, a joke when you say something like this is going to be load bearing over here and over here when it's not going to be any weight on this wall because it will basically have some weight transferring down there. But this one here is going to be full span. You might actually need to put a beam in there. If you have a 4x10, I mean a 2x10 joist, you might need a 4x10 in there for, for something like that. Just give you an idea of what this section looks like. Take a look at how the joist would sit on top of the load bearing wall. Back over here to the double joist connection. 
And of course, this is what an engineer would probably want to see for something like this. Let's take a look at how it would work with balloon wall framing, and it could be the same thing. You could have the um, joist, any one of the previous examples I used, you could have the double joist going over to here and you could double this joist up. But I'm just kind of using the wall again. You can put a nail the joist next to a stud, I mean next to a balloon framing stud and then put a support stud underneath it. And then, of course, this would nail into the stud and then the trimmer, of course, or the support stud will nail. These two studs will nail together. And you can always put a strap here like we did on the other side. Put a strap. Two studs underneath this one should do. And something like this should work. But again, you could always double up the joist over here and then run these over here with doublers to support the floor. Now, I couldn't have ended the video with what it would have looked like if you had an experienced plumber and it was built like this from the beginning and nothing was going to be modified. Now, the examples I'm providing you with would have been for some type of plumbing modifications and not the original construction, but originally the pipe would have probably went down the back wall here. It wouldn't have went down this wall because we had a door in the way. Um, could you have moved some of the joists over somehow? That would have been up to the plumber and the framer. And it probably wouldn't went over to this wall because it would have been a long pipe and it might not have had enough room to get enough slope in it for the drainage. But that could have worked if you would have had enough slope for the drainage and the water and the pipes were going to be flowing in this direction anyway. Um, then it might have worked out just fine having it here and dropping it down into this wall. So that is it for this video. And uh, I will put a link here at the end of the video if I make some more of these. But I think I might uh, create a different, a few different scenarios that might be helpful and then end up creating a playlist in the future.